Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be doing various set operations and this one we're going to be looking at union and intersection. The easiest way to get a grasp on these is to just type them out and follow along. So you best be going through these examples, don't just be sitting watching, get on your computer and start typing. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two sets and I'm going to do colors here. So my colors and my lovelies colors. So I'll call mine my fave and I'll call hers her fave. All right, so what are my favorite colors? I like red. You guys better believe I know I like green. And I like blue. I'm also a pretty big black fan. And purple. And what are her favorite colors? Well, you know, blue, of course. Also orange, purple, and green. So take a look at these sets, just analyze them for a minute. Notice that we both like blue, we we both like green, only I like red, only she likes orange, but we both like purple. So there's some similarities and there are some differences and that's important. So the way a union works is it combines both of these sets, all of my colors plus all of her colors. And the cool thing about sets is there's no duplicates. So just because blue is in here twice, that doesn't mean there's going to be two blues in the output. There's only going to be one. So we could do all faves and just do my fave, pipe, her fave. And then what we'll do is we'll just print all faves. So running this and we get all of the colors, black, red, purple, orange, green, blue. A similar thing can be done with the list, although there will be repeating data. If these were lists instead, you would just use the plus operator, which is combining the list, or you can think of it as concatenating the lists. So the union, you can just think of it as combining all of the sets together and removing any of the duplicates. Now the next one is the intersection. If you want to visualize this, if these are my colors and these were her colors, the union is everything in here, whether it's just in the middle, on the left, or the right. The next is the intersection though, and that is going to be the part that is shared between the two sets. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're actually going to figure out our colors that both me and her like. So for this, it's going to be called wedding colors, because this is pretty much how we chose our wedding colors. We figured out of the colors I like and the colors she likes, what ones do we share? So for the intersection, you actually use the and sign, the ampersand, and then what we'll do is we'll just print wedding colors. Running this and we get blue, purple, green. So these are all of the elements shared between these two lists. Notice red is gone because only I like that. Black is gone because only I like that. And orange is gone because only she likes that. So that is how to do a union and an intersection. There are also methods to do this if you want. So for example, my fave dot intersection and pass in her fave. And running this and we get the same exact output. There's also a union method, which you can use if you prefer. Stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about the difference and symmetric difference in the next video. Be sure to subscribe.